we are going to see a very lovely story of Dick Whittington who was a poor boy and stayed in south of England. He didn't have his parents and he was also much irritated by the villagers. One day he overheard someone saying that the roads of London are paved with gold. So he thought of going to London to make his fortune from the pieces of gold which he will pick up from the roads. Set off to London. When he started walking, he met with a man in a car. Even that man was going to London and asked him to join him. So together they started their journey for London and the time when they reached London was almost night time. So he left him and the cartman set off on his way to his inn. Now Dick was all alone and disappointed. The people there were also very unfriendly. Finally, he found a place to sleep between two buildings and he spent his night there. Then he woke up. He was very hungry and weak. He tried to find food here and there, but he couldn't. Finally, because of weakness, he fell down in front of a house, which happened to be of a rich merchant, Mr. Parsan. When he fell down there, the cook from that house was trying to drive him away, but at the same time, Mr. Parsan arrived and he asked him why won't he work for his need of satisfying his hunger. But he said, ready to work. But nobody is ready to offer him the work. To this, Mr. Parsvaran told his cook to take him inside, give him some food and then give him some work which he can do. Now, Dick was having a place to stay and also food to eat and a job. Now, Still, he was having two problems. The first one was that the place that he was staying was a small room at the top of the house of Mr. Firstman. And there, there were plenty of rats who would disturb him while sleeping. So, he tried to overcome this problem by buying a cat for him from some pennies which he had saved. But the second problem was very difficult to overcome because the cook whom he was helping in the kitchen was a very bad tempered man and would always scold him for no reason. When he couldn't bear this, he thought of running away and so he took his cat and went off. Then he sat at a place. It was a day of 1st of November and it is All Saints Day. And on that day he heard the bell of the church and he thought that the bells were calling him back and the bells were saying that if you return you will become the Mayor of London one day. To become the mayor, he was ready to bear all the scoldings of the cook. So he and his cat went back to Mr. First Ferenc's house. Mr. First Ferenc was a merchant who would send the goods to different shows for trading. There, these goods were sold and from there, other goods were bought which were sold in the hometown. One day, Mr. Fertzweren called all the people from his house and asked them to give something of their own which could be traded far off. He also asked Dick to give, but Dick didn't have anything to give except the cat. So Alice 
the daughter of Mr. Falswara told if she can give something on behalf of them. But he refused. He said, no, the thing must be belonging to that person. Finally, Dick agreed to give off his cat and so the ship sailed off to the shore of other countries carrying the cat of Dick along with other goods. Now, the captain of the ship was very happy because the cat helped them a lot by killing all the rats on board. Finally, they reached the coast of Africa, Barbary, where the people called Moose stayed. Then he met the king. King and queen set for the meal. A number of items were served, but all the rats gathered and ate up all. The queen said that their country was facing tremendous problem because of these rats. To this, the captain said that he has a solution and asked for the cat of Dick from the ship to the palace. Now, again the food was served and the rats came, but the cat pounced on the rats and ate a half and a half she blew away. Looking at this, the queen was highly impressed and wanted the cat near her. But at the same time, she was scared because she had seen the cat attacking the rat. But the captain said that cat was very friendly with humans. And now the bargain for the cat began. Finally, the deal was agreed upon such that all the goods on board will be bought by the king and he will pay 10 times the price for the cat. Now, after selling all the goods and cat, the captain came back to the hometown. He gave all the precious stones and jewels to Mr. First Baron and also narrated the entire story of the cat. Dick was called upon and all the money which was received for the cat was given to him. Now, Dick became Mr. Whittington because he was a rich man now. He started doing business with Mr. Fitzgerald. Also, he married to Alice and he was appointed or elected as the mayor for three times of the city London and also he was awarded the prestigious title of knight and this was the story of becoming mayor and achieving the dream and the same story after growing old Dick would narrate to his grandchildren and would also tell them how the bells of the church called him back and finally he became the mayor. Almost in the last phase of this lesson and the last phase is that now after listening to this story you give a detailed reading of the lesson so that you will understand the story very well. Thank you.